So welcome back to our look at Beyblade Evolution, the new Beyblade game for the 3DS. Um, this is part two. So we we looked at getting the game started, what different modes were included, and we started our first Beyblade battles. Um, we met a couple of characters, and so we're going to carry on with the story mode of the game. And we're going to the next the next place to go, as you can see, is indicated at the plaza. We're still really getting set up, and so here we have another Beyblade character to meet. So again. Um, Quite nice that they come in silhouette because you can sort of guess who they are. Now, I'm never quite sure how to pronounce um, this character, but um, I think it is Subasa Atori. I'm sure um, you can correct me in the comments. Uh, let's see if it is actually them. Here we go. Yep, Subasa. I think it's Subasa. Um, and um, obviously, they, they know our name because we put it in. And um, saying that um, we're starting to get a bit of a reputation in the Beyblade community. Um, and we start meeting these different characters um, and sort of challenging them and as we do we get a chance to learn about Beyblades and also about how to battle. Tsubasa is reminding us of the ideal launch um, and talking about the height and shape of the spin track. Now this is the, the, one of the bottom components of the Beyblade um, tops and you can change that um, as we're being told here by on low or wide spin tracks, um, which changes um, if you launch at an angle. And you can do that by moving around your 3DS as you launch. Um, if you do that too much though, you hit the stadium too hard, you're gonna lose some momentum, so there's a bit of a payoff there. Um, but get in right, get the right time, and you get, you get an early hit, and you can have a quick um, knockout blow to your opponent. So, is gonna take us on, and again, we haven't got we haven't got any of the um, elements to, to configure our, our Beyblade yet. So normally you would look at their top screen. You can see that um, Earth Eagle is what they're using. It's so the Earth Eagle 145WD. Now this is one of their um, Beyblades that they use in, this, in the series. And um, Tsubasa appears in Metal Fusion, Metal Masters, Metal Fury. Um, and then when a bit older at 24 in Zero G. Um, and pretty much always using this Beyblade, so it's not a huge surprise that we're seeing that here. And it's a real, it's a stamina. And you can see that the um, the metal element of the blade there, the that keeps the momentum going, is really big and hefty, and that's what gives it its stamina. It's got a bit of an attack, um, so it will move around a bit um, in the arena, and it's got quite a good defence. Now this is going to be an interesting battle, I think, because it's going to be not the easiest one. So. Now I'm going to be aiming for the edge slightly, and 3, 2, 1, whip! So let's see how I did. So as, as a plan, we're circling around, but we really need to, get, again, make contact um, with um, Earth Eagle 145WD, because I think um, it will have more momentum. And you can see at the top the stamina going down a lot slower on Earth Eagle compared to Evil Wolf as it's, as it's draining more. If we don't make contact, we're going to end up at the bottom first. Oh, there's a really nice hit there. And you'll see in the replay, I bash the other top out here. It hits the side. Now, if that ring had been a different configuration, I could well have got a stadium out. Um, but in the event, it was me who got knocked out and I lost. So another, another lose <laughs> down on my record. But um, you're not penalised for that. Um, it's just part of getting to learn the game. And um, Subasa sort of says, oh yeah, it was a quite a close call. This time we battled in a normal stadium, but there are many other types of stadiums, such as defence type or attack type. Um, in the future, you'll be doing bay battles in those types as well. It'll be a good idea for you to collect different bay parts so you can customise your bay blades. So here we're getting into the, the real exciting part of the game where we can actually collect bay blades like we would in real life and then customise them, again, which is half the fun of playing bay blades in the real world. So now we can again look at our bottom screen and see where we are to going. And currently, um, it's only the plaza still, which is unlocked, so we need to go there. And we're going to meet somebody else. So, if we have a look at the top screen, play our little game. Now, I wonder if we can tell who this is. Um, a regular Beyblades um, watcher. I think that silhouette's pretty, pretty distinctive with the spiky hair of Koyoya. Tedagami. <laughs> and I, you know, I'm still sort of learning some of these pronunciations, but um, 
let's see if that's who it is. And if it's them, um, what, which their babies are going to be coming with, um, Koyoya um, appeared in Metal Fusion, Metal Masters and Metal Fury. Um, oh no, wait a minute, we're looking at a different character here, so I think it looks like I didn't get that right. So who, who actually have we got here? Masamuni. So, ah, oh, yeah. So both these characters have spiky, spiky outlines on their hair. So let's get ourselves in gear. So this, this character appeared only in Metal Masters and Metal Fury. So it's a more recent character. Had a couple of babies. Ray Striker D125CS and Blitz Striker 100RSF. So both those with the Striker momentum discs. Um, but different configurations around that. The second one being a lot lower. The, the, the number there in the Beyblade readout is how high it is, um, how high it is off the stadium. So, I should think this conversation is going to lead us into a battle. Oh, and we're talking about Bay Spirit, which is an aspect of the game um, that looks to sort of mirror some of the elements that we saw in the physical product where you could trigger different attacks after you'd spun and released your top into the arena. So he's going to tell us about it. Your base spirit is when, let's see, when you focus all your energy and then release it, and your Beyblade goes bam, and it smashes into your opponent's Beyblade and sends it flying. So it's like you can trigger a special attack, basically. Um, and he's talking about the, the spirit gauge there at the bottom. Um, and that slowly fills up as you, pl as you play, and the speed at which, which it fills up um, is different depending on how well you're spinning and which top you're using. So let's get, going to get close to this bit of picture so you can see it. Try to get rid of that shadow. Not the easiest thing to film. I know some people have suggested we need to get a catch card, but again, it's far, I think it's a good idea and we will be doing that. Um, but for some of these some of these games, um, it's quite a physical element to it, so you really need to see the DS in the hand to sort of see how it plays. So he's, he's talking here about the spirit gauge filling up uh, and then when you release it, you have to aim moving the DS left and right and then it'll be absorbed. You can store your spirit max up to the level of three. It's up to you when you use it. Obviously, if you leave it too late, you'll be out the, out the arena or um, you'll run out of momentum before you use it. So you've got to have an optimum time to get that in. So let's go for a bay battle. So I'm interested to see um, which of his two bay blades he's bringing Ray Striker or Blitz Striker. Oh, we're, okay, so here we are with um, Ray Striker. Oh, this, is, this is a more attacking Beyblade. As you can see, his attack is quite strong. Stamina. I'm just going to go to just have a look, have a look at mine. See, just remind myself of what my stats are. I've got a bit more stamina than him. So I think on this occasion, I'm going to shoot for the middle of the arena to see if I can just outlast him. I suspect as an attack, he's going to be on the edge. So my hope is that he will... He will be flying around the edge and not touch me, and I can use that spirit, spirit mode, um, to get him. So, ready? Three, two, one, whip! So there we go. So we're whizzing around. You can see at the bottom, the bar's filling up, and I want to try and aim it now to get it at mine. I have to time it right. Next time round, I'm going to do it. Ah, oh, he got me out. So I didn't manage to use it in time, but you can see he in the replay here. He used his spirit gauge to, to full effect, really. Um, by giving himself a boost, just at the right time, he was able to come over and attack me and uh, do a ring out, knock me out of the stadium, even though, really, I had more momentum. Um, and, it was pretty, and we were pretty equally matched. So it's all about that timing. Let's see what he's got to say. Uh, not as tough as me, but not bad. Have you battled in a contest yet? There's a contest tomorrow at the Bay Coliseum. So these are the tournaments. I'd like to, I'd like to, che I'd check it out if I were you. Now this is where you can actually win money by entering these tournaments. And with the more money, you get these B, BP points is the, is the currency in the game. Um, and the more money you've got, the more um, components you can buy. Um, and then the greater variety you've got to take on different challenges. So here, if we go to the Bay Coliseum, And you can see at the top, whenever you click on a map item, it shows you where you're going to be at the top. You can see that there's going to be a tournament here. So before you go there, you can check that. It just saves you loading it for no reason. Say it was something you didn't want to do. 
Um, sometimes I'm in the mode of either playing mini games or playing battles, and so if this is a mini game, sometimes I'll avoid it, or if it's a battle, I'll go off and look for a mini game. So here we are at the at the Coliseum. Um, just get us myself refocused. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bay Coliseum. Play by play. Brought to you by me, Blay the DJ. It's great to be here. Well then, let me explain the basic rules. So the contest will be a one-win tournament style battle, so we'll be um, only using one Beyblade top in each fight, and there'll just be one round for each person we battle, but we'll battle a series of people and work ourselves through a ladder um, to hopefully win the tournament. So let's get through this tournament and see how it goes. So you receive a prize, a prize of 10... Thousand um, blade points or blade pounds, perhaps, um, which you can then spend. So, again, you would select. You could set up your um, combination and top ready for the battle, but because we have only got one, we're just going to jump right in. So the next battle is between Tom and Benkai, which is one of the characters in the game. Um, now, being new to the series, he's not someone I'd heard of before. I think maybe he's a secondary character. Um, Dark Bull H145SD. Now I'm just going to see um, where this appears because um, it's good to know which which sort of part of the series um, these Beyblades come from. Um, and it looks like um, this Beyblade is part of um, the Metal Fusion series. Um, which has the zodiac signs on the face bolt, uh, energy ring of bull, um, which is what adds the bull from the name. The fusion wheel is dark. Spin track is the horn 145. Um, it can be used in t attack or defense combos, um, uh, but it has quite a big recoil, uh, recoil and also scrapes a, bit, a little bit um, if launched incorrectly. You have to be careful of bouncing. So I think he's got his. his, his a challenge on his hands with this top, um, so it depends how he set it up, but I'll be interested to see how he does against me. Um, his his stats suggest he's got lots of defence and stamina, so I think really I just need to go for it. I need to get that spirit um, spirit aid working, which we'll hopefully we'll see. There we go. Three, two, one, whip. So there you go. So I've got there. I'm going to try and get my spirit going. Uh, my gauge is filling up, as you can see. It's all a matter of whether I can get it out before he wins because we're quite low. So I'm going to try and get it, get it in a minute and get my pencil ready to fire it. And it's almost there. There. Still going, still going. And in the end, I didn't manage to fire my spirit. My spirit charge there, that was a bit strange. Um, but I didn't need to, luckily, because um, my momentum outlasted him and I won. So, interesting um, battle there. Now, Bay Bay battles, you know, you often have problems in the real world. They don't always go as you want. So, the fact I didn't manage to use my spirit charge there, I think, is probably no great problem. But it'll be interesting to see if I can get that working on the next battle. So, there you go. We're through to the next round of this tournament. And we'll be fighting Ginka. This is... Um, the character we've played before. So it'll be interesting to see um, which of his tops he brings. So let's have a look um, what he's going to be bringing to the battle. So he has quite a range of tops. Currently Samurai Pegasus 1 W105R2F, which is what I'd expect him to bring. Um, but maybe he'll pull out something from the past and attack us with that. So Galaxy Pegasus W. Yeah, there you go, so that's the new one. So his old um, Pegasus 105F with the old naming, the Storm Pegasus 105RF, Galaxy Pegasus, Pegasus W105R2F, Samurai, I afraid W145CF and Comic Pegasus FD are sort of left behind now. I think the game does focus on the newer incarnations of the Beyblades for most of the characters. And this this top has a massive attack. So my my mission on this battle is to stay in the center of the screen, try and trigger um, my spirit attack really in the center. Go. I get it in. Oh, I'm still quite on the edge. So hopefully I can get a. Oh, I missed that. Ready? Yes. Well, that was quite a sort of torrid battle. As you'll see on the replay, 
lots of contact. I very nearly went out, just managed to keep myself in, um, but managed to get through and, and win. So, I mean, every win's a win, and here we are through to the next round of the tournament, so let's, let's carry on. Now, it's interesting that uh, my, my kids who have played more of the Beyblade tops um, in real life, they seem to be a bit better at this than me, and I'm still sort of getting my head around how the different um, elements work and how the battles work. There we go, we won that tournament and he says look forward to the next one. So we'll get a nice little influx of money and we can then start um, be able to move around the uh, map more freely. And also you can buy, as he's saying, parts in, in the B pit in your own town or in the WBBA HQ in the neighbouring town. You can use BP points, so I imagine it must, must be Beyblade Pound points. Can't be Beyblade points because that would be Beyblade points points. So it must be something like that. You earn by winning mini games and tournaments to purchase bay parts. The bay parts you can buy at the B pit or WBBA HQ change each turn, which is, which is really important to know. So if you go and you, there's nothing there that you want in this in this turn, go back, play again, and as when you come back, you'll see there's a different set of parts. And you really need to keep checking because it's all about collecting these rare um, and key parts to have the sort of the top combinations of bay blades that you want. There you go buy the parts you like and find the settings that work best for you. Also remember that, uh, that at first a blader won't come out when you're in the next town. Get to know all the different bladers and they'll eventually introduce you to other bladers in the next town. Okay, do your best to become a champion and see you at the World Championship. So we are now into the run of um, exploring the map and really sort of get digging into this um, story mode to um, to build our collection of Beyblades, to know, meet the characters. You can see different characters here. We've got the Bee Pit, where we can buy Beyblade parts. In our town, in the neighbouring town, we've got WBBA HQ. We haven't seen any more um, battles at these different locations, but we'll, we will, as, as we work through and get to know these different characters better, they'll introduce us to other Beybladers. So, that's what we're going to leave it for in this episode. We're going to come back next time and look at how to, how to buy Beyblade elements, how to customise your Beyblades and start building up that catalogue of Beyblade tops that's going to see you through tournaments and get us on into that championship once we've um, got up to 60 turns, um, 50 turns and you can see currently we're on 6. So there you go, that's our um, Let's Play with Beyblade Evolution Part 2 and we'll be back with Part 3 soon. Subscribe to, get, to let us notify you when the next part is out like on this um, video and also get in the comments we really would like to know how you think you're going to play this which tops going to be your favorite which characters are you going to be challenging first and what, what do you think is the best strategy for this new real world simulation on the 3ds of these beyblade battles that's all we've got time for see you next time on family gamer tv